Welcome to Ortho Eval Pal, where we help you build confidence in your orthopedic evaluation and management skills. Hello, everyone. This is Paul from Ortho Eval Pal, and with me I have Jason. Jason, um, about a week and a half ago, had a snowmobiling accident, injured his left shoulder. Basically took a tumble, ended up in the emergency room, had an x-ray, the x-ray was normal, okay? From there, um, saw his family physician and um, just wanted a second opinion, so he came to see me today. And so I will show you a little bit what's happening with Jason. Um, I'm gonna cut to the chase here. We've done some things like we've assessed his neurologic function, he has good hand function, motion's good, no distal weakness, um, sensation's good, he has no paresthesias down the arm. He's been in a sling for a week and a half, so his biceps is a little bit tender, but I've tested his biceps, I tested uh, elbow flexion, I tested supination, and he did really well and had good integrity, has a negative hook test. Um, but what I do want to show you is uh, just a couple quick things because he's still very uncomfortable and um, I just want to kind of show you what he looks like. So I'm going to have you, Jason, lift those arms straight up in front of you and take that right one as far as it'll go. So this is better than when he walked in today, okay? When he walked in, he didn't have this much motion. So he has that much flexion. I'm going to give him a little bit of passive motion. Doing okay? Yep. I'm going to have you hold it there now. Hold it. He can hold that, okay? And I can take him all the way up here. So we know he doesn't have an adhesive capsulitis. He's not diabetic, doesn't have a thyroid problem. We're going to come back down. Okay. And the other one can come down too. I'm going to have you go like this now. So we're looking at his um, rotator cuff, deltoids. Things are shut down quite a bit, as you can see. He's 32 years old. So the likelihood of having a rotator cuff tear is not very high, but we need to keep that in the back of our minds. What I want to do now is I want to test his strength. So I'm going to have him hold external rotation. I'm going to do infraspinatus teres minor. I want you to hold here. Give me everything you have. Okay. He gives me some weakness, but he is, he does have weakness, but he's giving me some resistance. Okay. And it's a little bit cogging. So it tells me it's not really a neurological issue. I'm going to have him bring the arm up. I'm going to take the arm up here. And I'm going to ask him to hold it here. Give me everything you have. And he's going to hold it. And he offers me some good resistance. We're going to bring it out ahead. So bringing it here and holding it there is easier than actively lifting it. I'm going to have you hold it there, give me some resistance. Notice I'm just using two fingers, I'm not bearing down really hard, and he's offering some resistance there. We're going to bring this hand right up against your chest like this. I want you to hold it right there, don't let me pull it away. So bear hug test, really good strong supraspinatus, I mean uh, subscapularis. Good. We're going to take a little break. I'm going to palpate a little bit, palpate his clavicle, get to his AC joint. No problem there. How about here? Nope. Not bad. A little bit. Tender. A little tender right here, subacromial space. Yep. Yep. So I think he's really inflamed his subacromial space, and that's why his rotator cuff is shut down. A little tender there. Yep. Okay. And he's a little tender in the medial capsule, kind of right here. Yep. So he's had a history of dislocation on this side. Let's All right. Check so now what we're going to do is uh, an apprehensive, uh, an apprehension sign with him. We're going to bring him up into this pitcher's position, about 90 degrees of shoulder abduction. I'm going to slowly start to externally rotate him, really easy. And you know what? I don't even keep an eye on the shoulder. I keep an eye on his face. And he doesn't like that, okay? So we're going to do a relocation test with him. I'm going to hold the humeral head into the glenoid a little bit more. And you can just hear him kind of empty his lungs there with relief, okay? Now I'm going to continue to externally rotate him. That feels better. Yep, right there. It was pretty tender. Okay. Now if I lift this hand up, yep. you don't like that, do you? Okay, so I put it back down and it holds the humeral head right in place. Gives him much better stability. So he has a positive apprehension sign, positive relocation test. He didn't truly dislocate completely, but it's possible that he just subluxed. So we are going to work on regaining his range of motion. We're not going to go to extremes of external rotation. We're going to start to work on some rotator cuff reactivation. I think he is just inflamed right now, and it's shutting his rotator cuff down. That's why he's having difficulty elevating the arm. And so we're going to start doing that. We're going to try to decrease his inflammation and see how he does over the next couple of weeks. Then we're going to test him uh, into different positions for like a labral injury and that type of thing. Right now I see no real need for um, any other diagnostic imaging. I think that conservatively he will do well because he's already shown improvement today with his motion just in being here 15-20 minutes. All right. So if you have any questions, um, make sure that you uh, connect with me at orthovalpal.com and go to the um, Get in Touch with Me page, ask questions, and um, I'd be more than happy to help you out. Thanks.
We hope you've enjoyed this video, and for more awesome content, go to orthoevalpal.com. Can't wait to see you there.